Hey guys, this is Rillo. And Sashimi. And we've got Stubby looking all majestic on the table with us today because he's joining us for the unboxing of one of the biggest Excuse games me, I've been excited, the most excited <laughs> for all year. Shin Megami Tensei 5. This is the Fall of Man Premium Edition. And whoa, why are you trying to get... <laughs> he's like, you need to get Joker out. He's related <laughs> to that series. Okay, Stubby's gonna give you guys plenty of love buddy. while I un while I un unplastic yeah, <laughs> unwrap while yes. I unplastify this okay, sweet boy. collector's edition. Okay, so we have a beautiful boxito. Look at how tall it is. We're gonna take a look at that. Look at this gorgeous freaking art. They are really showing the demons off in this one. Nice and minimal on the sides. Beautiful art on the back. Oh, God hood the awaits. Answer. I love my hands. God hood awaits. I've been waiting all year for God hood. Now, let's take a look at what it looks like under the boxito. Ooh, shiny. Ah, oh, that is awesome. Look at that. Oh. I have to put it both yeah, on the shelf like that. Mm. Uh, if you guys are wondering, we did actually just unbox Blue Reflection Second Light Collector's Edition. Uh, that one we'll have a link to if you guys are interested in it. Oh, right. The back. It is pretty minimal around the edges. Looks just gorgeous. Oh, it looks so nice. Oh, look at that. Look, they have the demons. Tells it forward a little bit. Jack Frost right out front. That's a really. There we go. That's a really cool roll call. I love how all their eyes are glowing. Ooh, so excited. Look at all the stuff. There's a whole bunch of stuff in the box right off the bat. First thing, looks like we're going to be doing the bag. I thought the bag would be last. Is that like a switchcase or what kind of bag? It's like a messenger bag, I think. Oh. We're going to see. I don't want to crumple this stuff right in you guys' ears, so I'm going to do it over here. Stubby's on my shoulder. Oh, there he goes. Stubby with the dismount. Look, buddy. The game's getting his approval. Look, look at that. Mmm. He's like, eh. Eh, no thanks. Okay, so here we go. This is the bag. It's actually more of a shoulder bag. Because it, it opens from the top here. But as you can see, the strap is right around here. Jack Frost. See, boy. Jack Frost right up front. I'm just going to do a little bit of modeling real quick so you guys can see it. Oh, you guys can check out my awesome Doro Hidoro shirt. Kakui. Most of you probably don't know what Doro Hidoro is, similar to Blue Reflection. But yeah, go check it out. Mmm, look at that. <laughs> this trap is very small. It can be adjusted. I just. It's probably all the way short. Yeah, it looks like it. Do have a clasp for it as well. Looks okay. Like one of those backpacks that's like one strap and you wear it sort of diagonal on your back? Yeah, you could wear it on your back. I'd like to be like uh, the dude from. Uh, infamous and wear it on my chest <laughs> that way i can have all my stuff you know what we're going to a convention this weekend this is a camera bag well it is now we're going to be putting our camera in this bar does it have any little switch game pockets it doesn't it looks like it would be fine for your switch it'd be big yeah. enough for it for sure um it's nice and flat enough for it actually i hope the camera will fit in it but plenty of room for your Switch and probably anything, some Joy-Cons, anything else. I would think that this would be where you'd want oh, to put your games. Your pocket, you? Yeah, that's kind of your game pocket right there. And it's actually, that pocket is almost the whole size of the bag. So that is a huge, hey. huge pocket. Huge pocket. Okay. All further, the presentation mm. of the Pro Tag is awesome. Gorgeous, beautiful, handsome, all in one. Because yeah, it's a pretty dude. I don't know if it's a dude. I, don't 
I don't know if it's a girl. That's a I don't think anyone does. That is the protagonist. That is all. And that is perfectly fine by me. I think it's actually a really cool idea to be as vague about the hero as possible. Well, I say hero, but we all know the kinds of choices that Shin Megami Tensei gives you in these games. You don't have to be a hero. That would be. So we've got, a, it says here, two disc soundtrack. Disc mm. one has 10 tracks. Disc Six two has 25. So we must have some vocals on here, I figure. Whereas on here, this must be all the like background music because it's like 250% or 150% more music. The glare is real today. So it looks like this is, ooh. Ooh, look at how nice. pretty those are. And it's got a reversible cover, too. Let's check that out. And look. it doesn't have any words on it? No manual warnings? It's, it's like the tree of life with planets. That's very pretty. But... Uh, uh. And hard choices. It, it does look good on the inside with the discs. Yeah, it looks really good when you open it with the discs. So we're going to go ahead and leave that on the inside and leave the Pro Tag on the outside because the picture of the Pro Tag is just too cool. So we will leave that right there. Next up, we have a hardbound art book. Yes. Nice matte cover. So this is something Book of Demons, the Forsaken Book of Demons, I believe. Now out of respect for the developers and for time, we're gonna go ahead and just take a look at a few of the images here. I apologize if you guys want, there, with, as with our, all our books, there could be spoilers in here. Uh, so we're just going to flip through a few of the pages. If anything does get spoilery, I apologize. But hopefully it won't. I think it's going to be mostly the demons. So speaking of demons, what are you guys' favorite demons? Tell us down in the comments, because I love to hear about what everyone's favorite demons are in Shin Megami. One of mine has always been Abaddon. I'm also a big fan of Black Frost. It's funny that he came up. <laughs> oh, there's my baby, Abaddon. He's horribly ugly, but man, do I love him. And that is a moth. I like a dragon. Pardon the helicopter that's flying overhead right now. I don't know. Oh, Mott. Oh, Mott. Mott and Shiva, these have always been two of my favorites, but I've always loved Mott. Because why? Because any Shin Megami, uh, Shin Megami Tensei fan knows this is the this is the pure manifestation of mental and emotional trauma. <laughs> Meg, uh, Megiddo Laon, for any that uh, didn't want to remember, but I'm just going to make you remember. And we've got, that is a sexy steel case. Look at that. It actually has a clear protective sleeve. Set it down very carefully. That gets all of the the talk and the ho the hoo ha and everything, all the ver the words handled there. So why? Clean artwork. Pure, unadulterated, clean gorgeous artwork. Look at how beautiful nice. it is. And it says it on the spine. Oh, look, it's very blurry. It's got the... It's, it's got perfect. It's got everything. The tree in the background. We've nice. got our pro tag in both human and transformed states. I'm gonna go to school and I'm gonna go to work in the dungeon. I wish 
I wish school uniforms would have been like that when I was in school. Cause dang. Yeah, dang. Look at those. Look at that pattern. Well, it's good. Okay. So we're going to put this right here. Is there anything left? Anything? Anything? Mm, it smells good. <laughs> Looks like we have reached the end of our box, guys. So there you have it. The most perfect edition of any game that's going to come out this year. I could be a little bit biased. Just a little bit. I freaking love the Shin Megami Tensei series. I've been waiting as well as I'm sure a lot of you have for this for way too flippin' long. We got a convention coming up this weekend, so I'm not going to be able to play it as much as I want, but I'm going to take my Switch, and anytime i got a spare moment, I'm going to be digging into this bad boy. So, Here is the full edition for you guys. You get the amazing, awesome box, the Boxedo. They both deserve a place on your shelf. You get the two soundtrack CDs, this really cool Switch camera whatever bag. It's a beautiful bag. You get the awesome hardbound Book of Demons. You can collect a sleeve. You also get all the super sexy steel case. It's perfect. Even if it didn't have the game, I'd still buy it. I don't care. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Hope you guys are able to get a hold of this. Uh, if you guys are wanting this and haven't been able to get it, I recommend following uh, Wario64 on Twitter, Cheap Ass Gamer, a few of those. Uh, there are a lot of these that have been popping up on various outlets. Best Buy, uh, GameStop, a few have been repeatedly uh, getting stock on this back end. I'm guessing the scalpers have been just cancel canceling their orders or returning their orders that they couldn't scalp, you know, be jerks with, so keep your eye online guys these are popping up everywhere if you just if you got those uh, notifies on uh, Twitter it's your best chance so hope you guys have luck with getting this if you haven't been able to and guys as always like subs all that stuff is up to you what we do ask for around here though is if it's within your means consider adopting or rescuing a buddy ASPCA.org, PetFinder.com. You can also Google your local animal rescue and adoption options. If you can't bring one home with you, there's other ways you can help out those animals in need. You can also go volunteer and still spend time with the guys, or you can donate money, or blankets, clothes, sheets, office supplies, all kinds of stuff. Google your local shelters, see what they need. You probably got something they could use. Yep, so if you got love to give, love to show, there's plenty of ways to give it, plenty of ways to show it. And unfortunately, guys, there's a lot of animals out there, especially going into the winter, that are going to need that love. So show them what you got. And speaking of love, we love you guys. And remember, buy your fun, not your fam. Adopt, don't shop. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye, Stippy. Say bye-bye. <laughs>